What's up, handsome people? It is I, Mr. Jam Brad, and today we are back on the po and beautiful people as well. You know, uh, <laughs> so it's late. Um, I'm about to head out in a bit, but I was like, you know, I have about 30 minutes. It could even be up to an hour, and I was like, eh, I need to record, but I just wasn't feeling the themes, and so I do what I do best. Actually, Joey does this. I stole a team from Joey, so I went to his channel. It's like perfect. Doom's desire, Jirachi. Doom's desire. Doom desire, Jirachi. Plus Reggie Drago. What better? Like this is some shit that I was looking for, and that's why I always go. Like if you're not subscribed to Pokey MMD, <laughs> what are you doing, right? What are you doing? Uh, in in cred, like the goat of competitive Pokemon channels, right? The biggest, um, the baddest, and so. And improve it with this uh, um, ideally Regio Dragoing him. Um, he's far weaker to Volk, so in the back I might I might do a little something something with my Volk, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I can only set up Doom Desire versus Clef. I do have a turn. Okay. Let me not be too myopic. Wanting to sweep with Reggie Drago, then I ignore everything else and just toss the game. Lando walled almost everything on his team. With like wish plus Lando, almost unkillable. Especially plus hazards. So I'm assuming since the only defogger he has potentially is Lando, um, that might be defogger. If that's not a thing, then I might go the hazard route and just try to obliterate him that way. Um, but phase one is going to involve, let me see, can I guard against Cliff? Mm. Yeah, so phase one is going to involve facing down his likely landers. Excellent day. Um, so we're going to do, I don't want my toxic at all. Nope. You're not making that trade, buddy. So I'm going to take a lot of value off him. So now you're on a timer. Shout out to PokeMMD. Um, I could go about this a couple different ways. There are quite a few ways to go about this. Uh, I don't want my... Do I want my Toy Star for Nitro? I don't. I don't want it. So I'm going to do a spike up. He does knock. I didn't expect him to knock. I'll knock back. I do want my Ferrothorn um, at full. <clears throat> well, he should knock this turn knowing I'll switch. So I do want him to knock. Um, excellent. Now we are able to. Oh, I'll dark pulse. I won't show him that I have it because uh, Clef has to come in, uh, which allows Rachi. He could double the Lando. So I wishes we doom desire. Uh, I mean, Victini. Victini makes a lot of sense. Victini just makes sense. Uh. Let's see. I mean, Hydreigon has to come in. He guards against anything and absorbs the wish, right? Um, does make it a little harder. I'm glad that I saw that his Clef had that, though, because that does help. Wait, what? Wish. Victini. Wait, what? Wish. U turn. Okay, I'm, I thought I was tripping. So the Doom Desire hasn't happened yet, so it's happening this turn. So that's actually perfect positioning. No, the Clef wish. I Doom Desired. I'm tripping. I don't know why I thought I wished. I remember seeing which, so something has to take a Doom Desire here. Um, so Earth Power is my best play. He forgot about it. Excellent. So Reggie Drago. Destruction! <laughs> yes! Yes, it's crazy that I can't defog, so the dragon energy isn't that powerful. But he gets eight by this Drago. Oh, it's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be bloody. Um, heavy duty boots. Obviously, you're like, yeah, we could just go to Landers. I'm aware. Um, and I will. Uh, I think, I mean, as I know he's going to knock, right? So, because uh, I want all the smoke. It's, the thing is, is, is Victini is heavy-duty boots. 
um, which makes this a little harder. Um, then I wouldn't be shocked to see him go hard um, Landers or Ferrick. I mean, Ferrick is a little, yeah, hard Lando. <clears throat> and so here's the thing, right? The Victini can beat my Volk. Uh, let's say I go Dragon. Like my Drago is going to get a kill this next turn. So I'm thinking, okay, well, what do I want to... I'm no speed investment. If he gets to the left, if he gets the toxic off, I get to keep Landers, kill something with Drago. Because I can still wish. That's what I'm. Yeah, I can still wish up on a lot of his squad. And what would I want to wish back? Because if Folk's item gets knocked. What is my win con here? The Victini being boots is is a. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna solve that. <clears throat> mm. Could I have stopped the hazards? I could have. I could have. Hydragon. Hmm, this this is this is dicey. Because of the Victini, like the the Victini is the only like, no matter how well I play, I'm not beating that Vic. Uh, I'll give him Dragon, so he does Toxic. Um, if I was faster, I would have rather Dragon Energy is 106, Draco is stronger. So we're gonna fire off these hot Dracos here. <clears throat> probably to a kill Ferrothorn. Well, actually, I will probably one shot Ferrothorn. Uh, because he's like, actually, he's probably not faster than me, but Dragon Energy again is just far weaker than Draco. Draco is 130 plus the boost. I don't think, because all Landos tend to be Spadef, I don't think he'll kill him. I don't need to kill him because he's super weak to ground. Which is probably why I save Lando. What I'm looking to potentially do is have a situation where I wish to my Lando and just Earthquake through his team. Um, so Ferrothorn is going to go down here. So it's going to be a slight sack for sack. The problem is that the Dredgy Drago is just so difficult to kill. Especially if I'm um, spec if I'm scarfed. Um, so there's a case for Dragon Energy if I think he's going to go to Ferrothorn. I think Dragon Energy would still to a kill, knock Ferro after spikes and rocks. Pretty confident it would. And then he couldn't go to anything to one-shot me after that. But if I Draco, it gives him the opportunity to switch. Uh, but what is he going to switch to? I mean, what is going to come in? So it's actually a, a very tricky thing. I didn't respect... I didn't respect that I didn't have defog enough. I don't know why I thought I had defog. So my my logic was like, when I can just hazard up, um, I can punish him heavier than he can punish me. Assuming it was not, okay, so it gives me Lando, which is amazing. So that's perfect, okay. But I don't want it. I don't, but I don't want it. What's the context here? Maybe he's just saying he didn't want his landers. So obviously after the landers got nuked there. Well, this Drago was going to kill a KO every time it came in. Um, which would likely be versus Pex or Pharaoh. Um, get at least one or two more kills. But Lando every time it comes in would drop him on. I don't think he should have forfeited. I don't think he would have lost. But I need to respect the lack of defog a little more. Because... Uh, I was thinking I probably could take Protect off the Jirachi and run rocks on it or something. And then um, run Defog on the Lando. Oh, yeah, I'm never using this team again, but um, watch me need Protect just in that third game specifically. But we'll live. Uh, very cool team. I really like. Whoa, this is fucking dope. Um, I, I love it. I love this. This is like. It's rare you see a team at this point that you've never seen a combination quite like this. Hatterene, Mammo, Rain, like this is just amazing. 
Um, I'm not charitable enough to just give him a win just because I love his team, though I am thinking about it. But amazing. Love it. Um, love how weak to Dark he is, so I'm going to punish heavily with Hydreigon at some point somewhere down the line. Drago isn't as um, oppressive because he has both Mel Metal and Hatterene, but I'll do my best. Strachi comes in on Torn and gets the Doom Desire off. Also gets it off versus Pelipper as well. Uh, Ferrothorn guards against potentially Mel Metal, potentially or a lot of its team, potentially. Um, Quiver Volk can win if Pelipper dies. How do I want to go about this? Such a unique team, right? So you, you want to like... If I'm going to play to the end game of Hydreigon, for me to do so, I'll need to beat down the two things, Melmetal and Hatterene. Um, I don't trust the Mammoth Swine. So positionally, I think Ferrothorn is always going to be best. Uh, if it specs Pelipper, I get hurt heavily because I am max fits death. Um, like this is if he specs any Ghost of Hurricane here, that's this is like the worst case scenario. Like this just horrendous. Um, so we're gonna knock. Uh, part of me wants to go hard Jirachi, but the point of me ferret warning is to avoid that mammal swine, which just eats me alive. Um, <clears throat> so if I can encourage him to go to Hatterene or Tornadus here, at the very least I remove the Torn's item. I mean, if push comes to shove, the specs will do like 70 to me, I think. Like, Ferrothorn is very bulky. It's only bulky when it's invested, when it's not invested in either stat. It's like, whoa, Ferrothorn? But over the generations, Ferrothorn has been... One, I just dust on. Ferrothorn, I don't think it's ever not been OU. Which is super cool for like, such a defensive Pokemon. I remember when it came about, it was the first Grass Steel, I believe, and it was like getting these hazards and it's just menacingly looking because back in the day it didn't have the thorns on the ground it had them in the sky it, or, or I guess it would be classified as the sky um, and I should be thinking about potential win cons uh, it's tough it's tough because I don't have real firepower like if you look at my team, Drago is the only real heavy hitter I have. Hydreigon, it can't guard against it in, in the sense of typing. Like it doesn't have any resist to dark, or he doesn't have any resist to dark, but it's not the strongest move. If it's AV, Mel Middle, I'm not muscling past it. I'm not too it KOing most of his team um, without Stealth Rocks. Um, Jirachi, definitely not doing any damage. So that's really the, the thing. I don't have anything that takes a lot of value from my opponent. But I have a lot of things that can potentially sponge a hit or two. Uh, for Jirachi guards against Torn, um, Hatterene. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Melmetal. Pharaoh might be able to do the trick, depending on what the Melmetal set is. Um, Torn, Melmetal in conjunction. I mean, Volcarona in conjunction with Landorus should be able to guard against Melmetal. Um... What's it called? Uh, very cool, it seems. It's a shame to see this end this way. But, as I said, I gotta go, so I'm not gonna play around. If we get up to 1800, you can get um, slightly better battles. Uh, and then, watch me face a non fairy team. It's game time. I did change it to Defog, correct? Also, is Metal Call? I mean, what fairies would. I don't want a metal card. I don't even know the Jirachi set. Oh, it's us. It is Max Special. Holy. Oh, this boy is not joking around. Why am I Max Special Attack quiet? Like, why am I not just minus attack? Was it modest? Yeah. Mm, that is me. Alright, so we have the a super motherfucking fairy. <laughs> like the one fairy that doesn't lose to Jirachi's Doom Desire and completely makes Drago obsolete. Fantastic. 
and he has everything under the sun that outspeeds Drago. And the only two things that don't are resists and immunities. Great. So now that that's <laughs> that that's settled, um, Volk is a bitch, man. Um, I do have ancient power, which is a random kind of tech, so I'm, I'm going to be using that. I think that's going to come into play. But Volk's a bitch. Uh, that boss is a bitch as well. Don't guard super well against that because I am. Well, Jirachi's going to be. It was weird, right? You're like, oh, damn, he has a Volk, Dragapult, uh, Volcarona, Ferrothorn. How's Jirachi going to do shit? But you're going to see it's so critical to stopping that Zapdos that it will. Ferrothorn is going to be a menace to society. Um, if I. If depending on what his Dragapult set is, I can defeat it. Uh, meaning if it's special, Volk might be able to sweep. I'm going to lean to Volk because it's the only offensive threat I have. Hydreigon is completely shut down. Um, man, uh, how do I... How do me win? How me win? How me win? Um, I need... Hazards, pronto, no, no. So what I'll do is to avoid this Zapdos, bingo. All right, I don't have protect. I told you I was like, watch, watch the next game. I need protect. Now, this isn't a horrible. Uh, if he banned CC, okay, so he banned Brave Birds. I don't know why he's banned Brave Birded there. I mean, it works, right? In the sense of, you think Doom Desire? No. Like I can't stain. What would be the player? Wish, take another hit. Actually, Wish is better than U-turning here because I know he's going to stain the, the, the second time and I'll punish him heavily with my Ferrothorn. Because I'm max Fizz Def, he'll get punished heavily. Oh, okay. I'll take this. I'm actually, I completely disagree with this decision on his end. Um, what does suck is the fact that um, because he's just gonna attack, but I do. I, get, I guess I get to wish. Oh, he doesn't attack. Homie's tripping. Depending on his folk set, I do it KO him. Um, I think Toxic is more valuable. Excellent. For debating who to go. Did not make. Yeah, so Protect would be super clutch here. I mean, he did not get a special attack rise, which means. He's going to die. My Lando is so valuable though that I don't want to even risk risk sacking it. But it just depends on what his bulk is. So I'll have to take another hit. Uh, that's defensive. I mean that explains the fiery dance. Um, plus two special attack. So Drago is gonna have to come in. Um, eat yes. And psychic slash bug buzz would come out. But again, Drago is pretty much trash. So, I guess I could overwhelm with hazards. I didn't consider that win con. The Zapdos, um, he made a wise decision uh, not brave birding into my fair. The Zapdos would be significantly lower, which would open up my Hydreigon maybe a little bit with a Dark Pulse. Um, but my Ferrothorn is a huge bitch for him. So. I'll just Ancient Power on the off chance he does not have, yeah, he doesn't have something to hit me. So I don't, I'm not switching around. Because I could have switched to Hydreigon there, but if Bug Buzz was his other move, I gave up Hydreigon for something that's completely trash. Like, completely trash. Uh, Jirachi will be able to get up a Wish versus... I mean, that's a damn lie. <laughs> Jirachi is done for this game, guys. It's done for this game. Um... So, what I'm noticing is an opening for my Volcarona, right? I mean, Garchomp is one of the final sort of pieces that would shut me down. Um, I'm actually going to go to Landorus here. One, because he'd have to, yeah. He'd have to Stealth Rock. Because I don't see an item. I mean, it could be Helmet. Uh... Earthquake is still my play here. Ferrothorn should come in, yeah. I remember what we talked about, right? We want to hammer away at the Ferrothorn um, for the sake of my own Ferrothorn. 
because uh, he really, really, really struggles with my Ferrothorn. Like in my Ferrothorn, if his goes down, my Ferrothorn is just it's just a wild boy. Let me think. Thirty-one percent. Another thirty-one percent. You'll get. He's at sixty-nine. I mean, is it worth me losing an extra what six percent for his? He's probably gonna expect me to sack Drago though. Yeah, he doesn't lead seed. She should have. I do not want my Landorus, but as I said, this Ferrothorn being gone is such a huge, huge, huge deal for us. Um, I just don't think it's a huge enough deal for me to lose Landorus completely. Uh, Landorus is doing. What the fuck was that roll just now? 37 to 31. Uh, Cause I could give up Drago, keep the Intimidator, cause he kills me here. Um, he'd be at forty something. I'd go to Volk and Fiery Dance immediately. Um, no. Oh, he leads. It's just a misplay. It's a misplay if he doesn't have Protect. If he does have protect, he'll go to. If he doesn't have protect, he'll go to Zapdos or Garchomp. Oh, what would I want to do? What gains me the most value? Yeah, I figured he'd leave it in. Um, really, the best play there would probably have been, I think, U-turn. Mm. I mean, if Zapdos came in. I guess it doesn't really matter which one of these I keep. Um, on the off chance he randomly defogs with this Finny, I'd rather keep Lando. Um, as he CC locks, which I, mean, I guess doesn't super shock me. Um, oh, I have Flamethrower. I don't know why I thought I had Fire Dance. So, Quiver Dance comes out here, Force Guard Chomp in. I, part of me wanted to simply uh, to just flamethrower for a little bit of damage so that when I boost again, I can potentially sweep him. But it all depends on what his finish set is, right? So uh, what we end up doing here is going to Ferrothorn as a mid ground for Toxic or Earthquake. Yep. And then we pivot to Hydreigon here on a Fire Blast flamethrower. Um, yep. We're not playing these games with you. Anybody else expected to burn there? Uh, so this, this cannot do shit to my... Um, yeah, we just Dark Pulse, Overwhelm the Finny, Rocks plus Ferrothorn, Repeated Switches. Uh, let me think, Finny. No, Ferrothorn is too damn good. Yeah, I figured he'd double, but you know, what am I going to do? I don't think in any situation I leave Hydreigon in there. Um, so he gives the get up Lando here, force him into CCing. Cool. Now I know what he's going to do. We're going to punish the Chomp on Switch. Problem is for him is that he cannot toxic not this turn at least so he'll probably eq and it'll hurt um i'll go hard hydrogon if he toxics kudos yeah, yeah you never toxic there he's dark pulse every time um the zapdos is low and is getting low enough to where i may be with a dark pulse i know he shouldn't i mean i know his entire moveset so uh, he should expect me to dark pulse if he does let me dark pulse this chomp it does open up a gateway to my quiver dancer um, we're gonna go back to Ferrothorn as he defogs. So that's why I was trying to keep the Lando away from him, so that if he does go for that dastardly move, um, I'd be straight. But I doubt he goes hard to to Zapdos. Um, what's my play here? What gets me the most value? I think in every times. Uh, um, Spikes gains me the most value. He's brave birding, but it's whatever. Yeah. Uh, Ferrothorn is so damn good. Uh, part of me wants to go. Fair. If I go. Probably. And then that's staring down Dragapult. Fair, fair Pult versus Ferrothorn. Infinity Chomp. Yeah. Um. Likes. No, Leech Seed is my play here. Uh, if he Brave Birds and doesn't die to recoil, he does. So Spike was the play. I wasn't sure. Um, me 
real toxic, but he doesn't. Okay, excellent. So I punish Finny heavily here. As I said, the Finny is starting to drop now, and the Chomp is losing a lot of value. You could go to to Polt, um, but now like now he's getting put in an awkward position because now I'm going to be able to lead sheet, and this next turn is going to be pivotal. Again, it just depends on what his I think spike, spike punish, chomp. No, seed is better, especially pult. I am curious what kind of pult it is, but it's getting to the point where it won't matter. So it is special. Okay, excellent. Thankfully, no spadef drop. Uh, already. So the special pult, which is good news. We'll roost on chomp. Um, chomp definitely toxics. Special chomp. That means if chomp dies, I still have to go drag on. The toxic is obvious, but I have to go drag on here. Um, then I pivot to Ferrothorn, take control back of the narrative. <coughs> we hazard here. Okay, I'm very surprised that he just left the Finian. So let me think. Finny leaves, if he leaves the Finny in, if he switches in, Spike, lead sheet here, yep. Oh my god, no! It doesn't matter, um, we just lead sheet here. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Well, it can't be, it's not this turn. So I go to, um, I, uh, might scald. Uh, what I wanted to do was get the you think spikes lead seed. I want his terrain up. So if he goes guard chomp, lead seed, we spike. Oh, that sucks. He got the burn. I don't think it really matters. Um, because all I do is quiver dance on the Volk. So he, I think he's trying to get me to not get the quiver dance off, but. It's almost impossible. Come on, man. I don't think, again, I don't think it's a game losing situation because of that, but it does make a difference. Um, we just lead sheet again. And he knows. He knows I know too. I guess I could spike. I could actually shadow balls. So, so we just quiver dance here in this game. But I mean, he was trying to stop this, and I mean, it's, it's fucking Volk, like, this is what Volk does, I, I can't even be mad at him, 324, so I do have speed, um, I don't need to heal, I don't need to heal, the fact that he went Garchomp there just shows, his game, his win condition is prayer, um, wish defog, See what his other move is. I don't think it really matters. I, yeah. Um, it's like he's doing 32% roost again. Yeah. Um, I probably could have played played that end game a little clean. I just didn't think I could lose it unless I did some really radical shit. Uh, but yeah. Um, pretty fun one, Jirachi. Like this is like the I was playing with essentially <laughs> four months. Jirachi was complete trash. Um, again, very surprised how he played the Zapdos because I think any other Jirachi set would have been a horrible Brave Bird there. Um, like unless he knew this was Joey's team, in which case he's like fuck it. But yeah, that Zapdos was a big issue. I think he played valiantly, um, but Volk is just menacing, man. Such a beast. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Um, check out my last video, the On the Contrary episode of the podcast. Man, it was crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, check that out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.